shit! So yeah, Casual Geographics made a new video. I wanted to watch that with you guys. Yo, let's watch Casual Geographics. It's always quick to shelter them, kids, so that's true. That's true. <laughs> chat! Say hi, YouTube chat! Hi, YouTube! I'm watching Casual Geographics! Hi, YouTube! Hi! Hi, YouTube! Hi, YouTube! I'm still sick, but hi! So there's a lot of talk about man versus bear. Would you choose the man? Would you choose the bear? How about we talk about that time women chose gorillas? This is Shibani. Shibani is a 27 year old living in the Hiyashiyama Zoo in Nagoya, Japan, where his face okay. card went viral and caused a direct increase in the number of female visitors. Call Wait, what? The there's no way. There's no yeah, way. Last name. White women are so bad, man. No way. That was. It was in, in a Japanese zoo. Women are just bad overall, man. Women are just so bad. Looney, because that's the main guy they compared him to. Oh, and if you couldn't tell, Shibani's also a 400 plus pound primate with a perpetual pump. Not only that, he's a loyal husband with two wives Aww. and children. That's a oh my god. Family man being lusted after. Some of the words used to describe him were punky, heartthrob, metrosexual, spornosexual. I didn't even know what that what? meant. One article even asked, quote, Would you go for a romp in the jungle with Shibani? Huh? Tell us below, what the fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with people? Based right on things to the follow. Sinful liaison, that's Harambe. Had women hot and bothered, that's Femme Flambe. Call him Susan B. Anthony the way he had women showing up to the poll. Just kidding, real ones know gorillas ain't packing anything but a room. But yeah, Shabai <laughs> Yelch transcended the laws of nature, and if I had a nickel for every Vega, time a woman's feelings to towards a gorilla made headlines, I'd have two nickels. Which is too many more than I should have. One yeah. woman was a frequent yeah, visitor yeah, yeah. at the Die Harde Bleidorp Zoo in the Netherlands. And her favorite okay. was a silverback named Akito. Up to four times a week, she'd find him, make direct eye contact, and smile. Dude. Dude, what the f- Women are disgusting. I'm not even gonna explain how much of a gorilla middle finger that is. Keepers tried to warn her, but she didn't I've listen. I've seen him happy? Did you go to that zoo? Oh my god. <laughs> Akito, they, they had a connection. Oh, they connected all right. One day she smiled again and called him constipated because Bikito was not letting that shit slide. Bikito broke out and would proceed to put the beats what? on her like Afro music. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And he jumped over a water filled ditch to do it. Gorillas hate oh, water. Oh no. Kito was fed up. He was calmly escorted back home where he lived well for another 16 years until he passed away oh. in April of. Didn't get 2023. Shot. His get back on his biggest fan slash op was immortalized yeah. as a word of the year. And the woman, who I originally felt bad for, apparently didn't get hit hard enough. <laughs> so if y'all don't know, my first act, who I originally felt oh, bad for, apparently. 57 year old Dutch woman who was attacked by a 400 pound gorilla at Rotterdam Zoo <laughs> said the ape was still her favorite even though she felt she was going to die when he bit her. I go to the zoo almost every day with my husband, and we're always going to see Bokito. I even have pictures and videos from Berlin when he was only four months old. He was in Berlin before? Well, what you look at that. Zerka, thanks for the follow. The woman told the Dutch uh, uh, mass circulation daily telegraph. With her husband? Yeah, with her husband. When she's so down bad. What the fuck? He is and remains my darling, the paper quoted the woman as saying from her hospital bed. <laughs> where she's being treated for bite wounds and a broken arm and wrist. Oh my god! The 11 year old male gorilla burst out of its enclosure on Friday and went on a rampage in the zoo cafeteria before being recaptured. Bro! What the fuck? She thought he was smiling at her because he liked her. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well, it was just a dominance thing. Didn't get hit hard enough. So if y'all don't know, my first aspiration in life was to be a zookeeper. I even I thought about that too at times. Like as a kid, I thought about that too. The art custom virtual simulator to prepare. Yeah, that dream flatlined pretty quick. Speaking of, there's this uh, horror game coming out. There's this horror game coming out where you play as a zookeeper. Where, like, aliens uh, took over the animal bodies and shit. I thought about playing that. I thought about playing that. At some... Uh, so I, I hate horror, right? But the game sounds really good. Among Us. <laughs> really. For reasons. <laughs> because this is gonna be, be fun. Yeah, that one, I think. What life would look like as a zookeeper. The weird stories, the dirty secrets, and the random... Oh! Oh! 
Oh, 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 that's nasty. What my life look like as a zookeeper? The weird stories, the dirty sea. Look, oh, ew, ew. And the random trivia the average person would probably know nothing about. Like, what is the most dangerous animal in the zoo? Like, oh, I seen this clip, bro. The zookeeper is such a giga chat. Actually, the answer just might surprise you. Uh, actually, probably Such not. a giga Born chat. Born USA has a database where you can look up incidents involving exotic animals in America. And if you search up animal attacks by any species in any state in an AZA accredited... What do you think is the most one, chat? What do you think is the most one? Hippos? Maybe? What animals get out? Birds? Chimps? Hippo easy? Birds? This is zoo animals, right? Well, exotic incidents database. Is this zoo animals or is it overall Probably exotic? Not. Born Free Wait. USA has a database where you can look up incidents involving exotic animals in America. And exotic animals in America. Okay. Exotic animals in America. Snakes. Are snakes exotic? Do snakes count as exotic? Well, some snakes are surely exotic chimps. I like cow. I would say hippos. Okay, no. Hippos are just dangerous. Spiders. If you search up animal attacks by any species in any state in an AZA accredited zoo, you'll Bears. see that the number one culprit are big cats. Oh, no one of us thought big cats. Oh my god. 101 recorded injuries, they caused 46 or 38 percent. Oh my elephants. god. Oh my. Bro. Out of 101 recorded injuries, they caused 46. Bro. Bro. Elephants were second. He wanted that child. Seconds. But if Bikidu proved anything, it's that a lot of them had it coming. Oh my god. Just probably by primates earned bronze in brutality at 14%. Reptiles like Komodo dragons and bears like pandas got just over 4% each. 9% oh. were marine attacks by animals like orcas, dolphins, and stingrays. And the remaining 13% stingrays. were just other. Other being something other. like a kid falling into a rhino enclosure or a woman climbing into a giraffe pen and nearly getting kicked oh. off the census. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Woman! Why? Why is it always women? Now, take it with a grain of salt, because I thought for sure zebras would be up there, but they weren't even on the list. And I know for a fact at least a couple should. But these are attacks. I want to know what Zuby's most likely to put a halo on my head. Well, in the same database, if you looked at every time a person got put on a shirt at a zoo, accredited or not, big cats did it over 40% of the time, with elephants at a hair under 30, and surprisingly, bears barely even scratched at less than 9%. Yeah. But here's the thing, if you look at non-accredited zoos, the big cat number grows to 47% with bears and elephants at 16 apiece. And lastly, oh. in accredited zoos, elephants actually took the lead at 47%, big oh. cats were the suspect 33% of the time, and bears elephants, Jesus. weren't even on the board. So if you're a zookeeper oh. at a zoo that actually has its stuff together, statistically, if there's any animal that erases you, it's gonna be an elephant. And if the zoo's suspect, best believe a big cat might be your downfall. Oh, I seen this clip too, man! Where the fucking lion started attacking the guy, and the lioness tried to, like, um... Like, calm the big lion but down. Also remember, if it does happen, it'll probably yeah, be there your she fault is. or your Like, she's like, stop now, it, you work stop it! Long He's not food! He gives food! Enough. Eventually, some animal's gonna escape, whether it's a minor inconvenience like a bunch of- <gasps> Cats. meerkats or a code red dead the rights and merc on site like a chimpanzee what's gonna happen in bro bro this reaction is pro action so some zoos do escape Jim's animal no joke, literally. instead of actual animals yeah the yeah. fuck one Japanese zoo will have workers cosplaying as an animal taking a cue from Madagascar and breaking out. Why? Thank God, I'm not even gonna tell you what I thought this Why? was. Why? What the hell? But it's a pretty harmless way to remind everyone what to do when an animal gets out. That being said, this would be a tragic time to not be sober at the zoo. But what animal's the most likely to escape? In my non-professional online opinion, there's two. If you want to test how good a spot is at keeping the animal in, you should probably hire the man of the forest or the orangutan. Fu Manchu was an orang that nearly got an entire staff fired because there was a solid week where what? they would show up to work and the entire orangutan posse would be posted up outside. About a week was how long it took for them to realize that Fu had snagged a wire, hid it in his mouth most of the day, and used it to pick his enclosure lock when no one was looking. What? What? Bro. Oh my god.
Oh my god! It was a Harry Houdini who got out so many times that the zoo had to hire rock climbers to find every possible point of exit. Because they didn't oh know my god! Out, for sure wasn't about to tell him. And what did he do with <laughs> all this freedom? Well, when he wasn't wandering the zoo looking at animals like everyone else, he was pelting rocks at another O rank named Otis. Cause <laughs> Bro just had beef with another orangutan! Even a 95% vegetarian can make room for beef. The other animal's the red panda. Do your homework on how hard it is to keep this red-faced raccoon in. Dude, that's so cute. That red panda Look at them. made the news at least once in 1978, 2005, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2012, 2013, and you know what? Probably more. That was Germany, too. Was red panda Rusty slipping out the Smithsonian yeah. and walking the streets so and adorable. the DC oh. completely unbothered. So yeah, if your job's keeping a ninja panda or a Cheeto-flavored gorilla in check, you're gonna have a bad time. But some animals are a great time to work with, and it's often not the ones you'd expect. Rhinos are legally much gorilla Chris was back on zero. A butterfly. In a zoo, it's a two-ton Labrador with the personality of a lab dog. And they put the zoo in zoomies. Turkey vultures are unironically like precocious toddlers that'll follow their favorite keeper around and play games with them. And cheetahs might oh. just be the most people-proof predator of them all. In fact, almost too That's much for crazy, their own good. By the way. Cheetahs get treated like the doormat of the savanna, and their life doesn't become a cakewalk in captivity. Like, growing up? I've always been taught like cheetahs are like so crazy. They're super fast and they're like dangerous animals and like all that stuff. Yo, Asuki, hey. And now like growing up, people are like, uh, cheetahs ain't shit, bro. <laughs> like, did we forget that they're still the fastest? Like, speediest cats ever? Like, what the fuck? Oftentimes, the overgrown house cat is too anxious to even think about making more cheetahs. So. Some Aww. cheetahs get emotional support dogs. So the what? dogs are assigned to the cheetahs as cubs, and the idea is they become oh a bonded God. pair with the cheetah seeing Fido as a role model to mirror and take social cues from. Okay, how adorable it's is that though? Support, because if the introvert no, how cat adorable sees that the is dog that? is stressed or pressed, it allows them to chill out, or at least enough to motivate them to multiply without a calculator. And to make it even more wholesome, a lot of zoos like the one in San Diego will use dogs rescued from kill shelters. Definitely one of the top five animal friendships. It's not even the only one in San Diego. This Aww. is Zari the Zebra, also from the San Diego Zari. Zoo. And this is her best friend, Sophia. You see, what? Zari doesn't just live there. She's one of the ambassadors for the zoo, spreading smiles and awareness. But I'm is also guessing you can't really have your ambassador around other zebras, because let's just say that might not be the best influence. So in comes Sophia, a miniature Mediterranean donkey and Zari's roommate Aww. and best friend. To say they're inseparable would be a massive understatement. And while I can't exactly tell you who's influencing who, just know Zari and Sophia give any cheetah dog duo a run for their money. Now, Aww. speaking of role models, so have you seen this video of a panda struggling to break bamboo? <laughs> well, that's Mang no. and... He's not struggling. The story goes, he was hand raised by humans his entire life. And while a 250 pound bear might have no Look problem snapping sticks, Look a weaker him. human will. So yum, apparently yum, yum, years yum, yum. of watching his surrogates get humbled by a bamboo somehow taught him that that face is necessary to break it. No, he's mimicking humans. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. That is, oh my God, my heart. He's just, oh my God. That is so adorable. You can even find videos where he breaks it, starts eating, realizes he forgot to struggle, just to grimace and continue. Pandas are a lot of things, and apparently good as Simon says is one of them. They're also by far the most expensive animal you'll see in a zoo. Any American zoo that wants a panda will have to pay a small annual leasing fee of up to a million dollars. Wow! 600,000 for every cub born there. Add the wow. to build their enclosures and the thousands spent feeding them and the black and white bamboo bear is about five times more expensive than second place. And that's literally the biggest thing alive with legs. And best believe they know it, you might never meet a more high maintenance mammal. In 2014, the Chengdu research base set up a live stream so viewers could watch expecting mother, I oh, these names are killing me, I Hin bring another panda into the world. It was then canceled after it was discovered she had faked her pregnancy. Oh my god, I heard about that one, man. I heard about that. The Bro. Somehow the same animal that got his brain nerfed by nature figured out that if they can play pregnant even after the hormones wear off, they can finesse preferential treatment. And they're not wrong, any future mother pandas are moved to a single with AC, they get round the clock care, and more fruits and bamboo. Quite frankly, I don't blame the bears for working smarter. That's but it gets crazy. Even crazier. That is Did so you know crazy. Did pandas can be bougie? 
Mei Lun Uzi? and Mei Hun were two pandas born and raised in the Atlanta Zoo, but were sent back okay. to China in 2013. The only okay. problem? They refused to eat any traditional Chinese meals, only American. Wait. They were not rocking with- Nah. No. They wanted biscuits and cookies, and pandas aren't even the only ones to pull some stuff like this. Japan's Akone-en was used to feeding their residents aji, or Japanese horse mackerel. But thanks to inflation, okay. they decided to cut costs by switching to a cheaper alternative, Saba. And wouldn't you know, the penguin with king in its oh name was not God. about to eat like a peasant since them and the otters <laughs> refused to substitute. You see, that's the part of Zuki wow. that tell you all that time spent preparing fish, slaving away while the stench of your profession dents your social life, just for an uppity tuxedo chicken to choose hunger strike. Man, you know they don't get they paid don't want, for that. Literally, they the don't want to eat us. was mixing the cheap fish with the aji. As you can see, some animals are way more high maintenance than others, but some are too difficult to even exist in zoos. Think about it. Think of all the zoos you've ever been to and try to see if you can come okay. up with any notable absences of animals literally the only compromise was mixing the cheap fish with the aji as you can see some animals are way more high maintenance than others but some are too difficult to even exist in zoos. So think about it think of all the zoos yeah you've ever like been to and try to see if you can come up with any notable absences uh, it's easy to think about what animals are then which ones are missing links Zebras? No, zebras are in zoos. Zebras do go in zoos. I bet gonna mention white chucks. Why the hell would there be a white chuck in a zoo? Hippos? Hippo? No, hippos exist in zoos. There are also spiders in zoos. I've seen spiders in zoos. Honey badgers. I don't think I've seen a honey badger in a zoo. No, that's true. Great white, ch great white chucks. Honey badgers are insane breakout arts as whales. I mean, who's gonna have a freaking whale? Wolves and foxes? I've seen wolves in in the zoo. I don't know about foxes. Skunks? Raccoons? Hmm. Okay, time's up. When's the last time you saw a moose in a zoo? For a lot of y'all, including me, probably never. You've really? probably seen bison, bears, bobcats, cougars. Y'all know I could speak on wolves, <laughs> but no moose. Why? Moose have specific diets, they're built like a tank and of course eat like one and Moose really, are so big right. man. They can still they're so huge. Years. And apparently feeding an antler warrior that can't even survive a president's term is a bad investment. So are leopard seals. You'll likely never see the op of happy feet in a zoo. Narwhals can literally die of social anxiety, so they're out. Tarsiers sometimes sapuku themselves wow. in captivity, so that's a no-go. And they say dietary restrictions are why proboscis monkeys are rare in zoos. I call bull shark. It's definitely because Shinazi might be the most inappropriate animal to take your kids to see. And yes, yeah. My yeah. for a reason. I'm not about to catch an age restriction <laughs> over an overexposed take your kids to see. And yes, my head's here for a reason. I'm not about to catch an age restriction over an overexposed lipstick dispenser. Or they could just use fake animals, cause it's not like that hasn't happened before. In 1987, a zoo in China was exposed for painting a fake sun bear and presenting it as a panda. That's a sun bear, by the way. In 2018, a zoo in Cairo did the same exact they had a Cairo! Egypt! All roads lead back to Egypt. Donkey and zebra face. 2013, and we're back in China, except this controversy was about their resident African lion. There's a lion. What? It's a dog. That's a dog. Did y'all even try? But by far, my favorite counterfeit creature story is. These dogs are advertised as panda dogs. They're just dogs. Okay? Panda dogs, right. It's literally According just a to dog. Chinese state media, the zoo confirmed it dyed the dog's fur to look like pandas to fill in the blank of not having actual pandas. You know, if I took time <laughs> out of my day and spent my hard earned money to go see a panda and got this, I'd probably go and spend more. Man, they got pandas from Timu. I can't even be mad. So obviously people are usually happy to see animals at zoos, but oh, oh you ever my God. wonder how the animals feel? Well, someone did. And a study from Nottingham Trent and Harper Adams University studied over 250 animals in zoos to see how their behaviors changed around human company. Using hours of observation and research, they found that the animal most excited to see people at zoos, and I really hope this is true, were elephants. Elephants are really smart animals, man. Elephants are so smart. It's insane how smart uh, elephants are, man. Also, uh, I was just thinking about um, how the freaking alpha, beta 
kind of um, hierarchy in wolves was wolves adapting it in captivity. I was just thinking about that one when he started talking about this. Elephants showed the most positive reactions to large groups of people, becoming more active, more playful, and overall. Oh, look at him! Oh my God! Look at him doing a little swimmy most swim. Most positive reactions to large groups of people, becoming more active, more playful. If I recall correct, the elephants see us the way we see, like puppies and cats. Oh my God! <laughs> and overall seeming to have a better time when humans were around. The other people happy animals included cheetahs, jaguars, penguins, grizzly bears, polar oh. bears, a cow oh. called a batang, servals, and black-tailed prairie dogs. And on the other side, the animals that seemed to like human me. company the least were hedgehogs, ostriches, marsupials like kangaroos, ungulates like giraffes and antelopes, and probably most random of all, the tuatara. They have three eyes oh. and apparently none of them want to see us. But I mean, he has three eyes. As for the rest, the vast majority of animals have no eye? reaction. The study does raise an interesting question, and that's how the pandemic affected zoo animals. Believe it or not, some animals actually started to miss people. The worldwide panoramic Aww. left elephants confused and disappointed. Birds like no. keys and cockatoos. No! My heart! My heart! Miss people. The worldwide panoramic left elephants confused and disappointed. Birds no. like keys and cockatoos missed the attention. And you even had apes like chimps actively looking for missing visitors. And while no. My heart! My heart! The animals missed us! Bro! Bro! And here there are people saying the animals don't like living in captivity. The animals are being held prisoners. The animals hate us. Yeah, right. Shut the fuck up, Peter. Shutdown gave us gems like penguins exploring empty aquariums or a sea lion getting introduced to a tegu. By Aww. far, the best story to come out was what happened in a Japanese aquarium. You see, the eels in Tokyo Sumida Aquarium were used to people, but the pandemonium turned them back people shy, and those same eels oh. would now hide in the sand whenever a worker or someone would walk Interesting. past. The problem is, that made it almost impossible to check up on them and keep them healthy. The solution was, the aquarium yeah. asked people to FaceTime their eels to refamiliarize them with people. They did us FaceTime them! <laughs> oh my god! People like some exposure therapy. They're there just like me for real, for real. Yeah. A with an antisocial eel, and the worldwide Panera brought a lot of bad, but this was definitely a bright spot. But now <laughs> zoos are back open, so here's some hacks to get the most out of your experience. I'm, I I need to go to the zoo soon again, man. Oh, uh, next again is visiting. I'm taking him to the zoo, man. I I haven't been up to a zoo in years. I really want to go again. Experience. Animals are going to be most active on cooler, cloudier days, and they usually peak as soon as the doors open. Also, you're going to want to aim for a random weekday, Whoops. since the less crowded, the better. Try it. If you can be there the next overcast 10 a.m. on a Tuesday. Random I weekday. Random weekday. Thursday. Got it. Going on a Thursday. I swear you'll see a different zoo. And if you're a cat person, you might want to wear some Calvin Klein. No, seriously, the Klein is a favorite for cats of all kinds, from cheetahs to cougars, from lions to leopards. In fact, well researchers have caught wild jaguars on camera by dousing the trap in obsession for men. So next time what you're the at the zoo and end up in big cat country, go ahead and spritz some of the Klein and see what happens. But yeah, Damn. that's gonna do it for this video. I imagine I'm gonna get a couple comments disappointing to me for not blasting zoos for 15 minutes, that I can't possibly care about animals if I still go to them. Here's my take. I've always said that zoos are capable of a lot of good and a lot of bad, but a lot of them are an invaluable resource for conservation and awareness. And while I yep. agree, there are some species that are just not built for zoos. A majority of them are there because they literally would be worse off in the wild. Chevalsky's horse was basically halfway down the grave, but it was the work of zoos that helped bring them back from the brink. Same Yay! thing with the California condor, and about a dozen more. And spare thought for zookeepers are overworked, underpaid, usually overqualified. Yeah. And like I said, the smell isn't just something they leave at the office. Not all zoos are created wow. equal, and it's at best lazy, and at worst almost dangerous to put them all in the same boat. But I'ma stop yapping, drink water, hug your mother, support your local zoo, just make sure it's accredited. Matter of fact, give a zookeeper a hug, who knows how much they need it. And I'ma see y'all in the next one. See ya. I can't wait to go to the zoo again, it's been so long. And yeah, the Berlin Zoo is great. We also have a second one called Tiergarten, uh, like, which literally translates to Animal Garden for some reason. Uh... I, I don't really know the differences in between both of them, but both of them are amazing, man. Both of them are amazing.